we're ready to go. England ranked six in the world. Brazil have dropped to 18th, Stuart. It's a real surprise. That's one reason why Manuel Menezes, the previous coach, has lost his job. And the call went out to Scolari. Luis Fabiano and uh, Neymar ready to get the game underway. Ronaldinho has had a Indian summer, really, back in Brazil. The uh, smaller clubs, Atletico Mineiro. He's become a footballer again rather than a celebrity, and that could mean problems for England. Very chilly weather-wise, but not too much in terms of recent rain to uh, affect the surface here at the New Wembley, where they've had problems in the past, but not so much recently. David Lewis. England certainly feel that they have the pace in the side to trouble Brazil at the back. Nice take for the first touch for Chris Smalling. Glenn Johnson is the right back, Cahill alongside Smalling and Joe Hart giving uh, a little Brazilian trick of his own to uh, Ronaldinho. Nice one. And a good switch of play as well from Joe Hart. You see Brazil tried to press the ball with Ronaldinho. Fabiano both went and pressed it quickly. England allowing Brazil to come out from the back with the ball. There's uh, Ramirez making a bit of ground. Has uh, some good Wembley memories already. Scored in the FA Cup semi-final and the final for Chelsea last season. Ball go under his foot, it's collected by Rooney. Jack Wilsh has been in excellent form since his return to Arsenal's colours. A good advantage played by the referee. And Rooney might be in, but David Lewis just repositioned in front of him to concede the corner, but cut out the initial point of danger after Wilsh's surge. Well, that's what he does so well, running with the ball past players. Invites challenges, but what a good run it was as well from Wayne Rooney, trying to get in between the full-back and the centre-half. Didn't quite have enough on it. Early chance for England to show what they've been able to practice with their set plays. Cahill going towards the near post. Rooney round the back, it's too high for all of them. Yeah, they might have worked hard on it, but I don't think they were trying to hit Wayne Rooney round the back. Although he's fairly decent in the air, he won't be one of the main targets. Pragmatic touch about the Brazilian selection, given the uh, lack of recent domestic action for many of the home base players. And one of the reasons, of course, Brazil do play so much in Europe is there are a lot of players based in this continent. What a pressure cooker it will be for Brazil. Anything other than winning the World Cup in their own country will be seen as failure. Before that, they've got the Confederations Cup as well. That's won nicely by Dante, but he gave the ball away. The big defender with the big hair in his uh, debut. Plenty of appealing going on here, and corner is the outcome. Well intercepted by Glenn Johnson. She started off that move. Expect to see him get forward. Never Walcott will go in field to support Wayne Rooney. Expect Johnson to be high and wide up on that right hand side. It's another England corner. A bit more measured this time. Smalling right in there. Oscar being a force back. And then England. Making a determined start in terms of trying to win the ball in Brazil's territory. Just the way they started, Wilshire had that great run. Such a key player for England these days. Closing the ball down. 
Looks like Neymar is going to start out on the right-hand side. Maldini has been through the middle for a little while, but he's gone back out to the left now. Oscar tucking in field. Neymar, of course, unhappy memories here of the Olympic final. Brazil still haven't won the gold medal in the Olympic football tournament. They got close, they played Mexico in this stadium. They were beaten. Just go home with silver. Good pace by Cahill to get across and uh, no uh, flinching with the challenge. Always risky lunging in at a Brazilian in your own penalty area. But it was brilliant by Neymar down this right hand side. 2 1 2. Excellent. Return ball from Ronaldinho. I spoke before the game, Cahill has to read those sort of situations. Actually, Cole was played around a little bit too easily there. Ronaldinho with the corner. And towards Neymar by the near post. Here's a wonderful fixture with which to start this 150th anniversary year for the Football Association. The founding fathers of the game. David Luiz. Nicely measured ball forward. Neymar not able to keep it. And this is uh, flinching a little bit after losing out. Glory actually lost his voice, or very nearly lost his voice at the uh, press conference. Put it down to uh, coming into such a cold climate. But, uh, he had a few months in England as the Chelsea head coach on Neymar has got him behind Cahill here. Couldn't take it on. First real concern for the home nation. Yeah, it's good play from Cahill in the end, but neither of the centre half saw the run of Neymar. He just ran in behind them. The player on the ball had time to pick out his pass. Just weren't aware of the situation there, Cahill, but great speed to get back in. Talking of great speed, it's uh, Walcott trying to keep it in play, but this is the, the problem that the England central defenders had. There's one ball just over the top. Neymar came off this right-hand side to make his run between them. Oscar that played the ball forward. Adriano is the left-back. Backs from Barcelona. Oh, and uh, left back Ashley Cole hasn't made many mistakes in his 99 previous internationals. Now the Oscar to cross. And the flag has gone up against Luis Fabiano. Yeah, he was offside. Ashley Cole saw the run of the fullback Danny Alves to start with. Didn't control it particularly well. Fabiano made his run a little bit too early. Brazil have started the better here. Two countries do play again in the revamped Maracanã in Brazil in June. Here's Welbeck, a very good 2012 in England's colours. Hasn't it's done so well for Manchester United. He's got a lot of competition to even get in the side. Crafty ball from Oscar again. So I'm looking for Luis Fabiano. Hart out quickly. Once again, he's looking to break in between the two centre halves. Fabiano on this occasion. He's going to try to just play the ball in behind, but they've got good pace, Smalling and Cahill. But they've got to read situations that little bit quicker. That was uh, the one real surprise when Roy Hodgson announced his England team today, that Chris Smalling, rather than a Jackie Elka or a Lescott, was in the middle of the defence. No surprise about Glenn Johnson at right back. All the available again, Rooney's on a good run. Four goals in his last three games for Manchester United. That's, uh, Tom Cleverley. Steven Gerrard, Theo uh, Walcott, I think I'm right in saying he's never scored a 
header for his club, Arsenal. Looking to get in there in an aerial sense. Excellent vision here from Steven Gerrard. Time on the ball. Fullback drops. Fullback defends it well. Andriano. Good movement from Theo Walcott. Kept himself on side. It's another right wing corner. For Steven Gerrard inside this first ten minutes. Oh, what a save by Giulio Cesar, but uh, the uh, whistle had gone. Does it recall memories of Pelé and Banks? It's what a good header it was. Little push there. It's the full length dive from Cesar. Does well to get it up and over the bar. Yes, but really heading it down. I guess it, it, it was on its way up. He helped over, but still, it was uh, outstanding, even though it wouldn't have counted. And, uh, Brazil restart with a free kick. He's been an outstanding form, hasn't he, for QPR? It's a wonderful save. I saw him recently at Hudson Park. Yeah, and he said how much, even though he's in a relegation battle, how much he's enjoying playing in the Premier League relatively late in his career. Some very, very good years in Italy. Maybe winning the Champions League. Smalling. Four Manchester United players starting the game for England. Two from Chelsea, two from Arsenal, two from Manchester City, and one from Liverpool. Here's Walcott. Dante with the challenge. And look at the room that Neymar's got here. He's got Ronaldinho and Luis Fabiano to work with. Oscar wanting to join in as well. And it is Oscar who was leaning back and just betrayed a little bit of his youth there. Actually had time to set himself for a better strike. He certainly did, but it all came about. Glenn Johnson had every right to go forward. And then when England lost it, Neymar hadn't gone back. He hadn't tracked Glenn Johnson, so the ball was cleared to him. And it was an overload. Osco. Ashley Cole couldn't go to him because he was worried about the ball being played wider. Should score. There's the threat on the counter from Brazil. Headed by Dante. Johnson. Oh, and, uh, he's not offside. It was an England boot that got to Neymar on the ball. It comes cleverly get out of trouble for the moment. Oscar. Luis Fabiano tried to set up uh, Paulinho. Danny Hanfes, who is one of those players who loves to be on the ball and uh, often for club and for country, they get him forward so well from right back. England of Threatened from uh, a series of corners, but Brazil playing their way into dangerous positions. Ramirez. Danny Alves. And Brazil with a, a new manager to impress, certainly for ten of the players, an old manager for Ronaldinho to impress. Gerard looking for his Liverpool colleague Glenn Johnson. So again, Neymar makes no effort to get out. So Ramirez, the midfield player, just shuffles across. Cleverly. Gerard again. to come forward and he's continued his run to get into the box. He's got a couple of England goals already. Walcott. And it came up on uh, Julio Cesar, maybe a little quicker than he anticipated, but in his own rather unique style, he got it away. Well, England will be able to cross the ball, but there's no real pressure on them when they get it out on that right-hand side. If they can get players in the box, but they attack the ball, enough determination. Well, bet couldn't be key for that when the ball was on the far side. Well, the ref 
referee was walking away, having given the throw to Brazil. And the assistant was clearly of a different mind. Gerard. Rooney. Get uh, Walcott in behind Adriano. Breaks for Johnson. Fall back to the other for England. Now well back. Unlucky return ball from Tom Cleverley. Just forced well back a little wider than England would have hoped for. Curved out to Walcott, who's been in great form, of course, for Arsenal. And now with a, a new contract as well. Likes a tackle as well as everything else he's got, Jack Wilshire. He's the all-round midfield player when he plays well. There's one thing that may just let him down on occasions. He can be a little bit too feisty and get himself in a bit of trouble. Got rather underneath the ball there, in the uh, shape of Ashley Cole. Not a great deal of penetration about the little uh, passes on the edge of the penalty area that time by David Luiz. Well, it's quite a doubt for this game, but obviously wanting to play. And uh, captaining the side as well. Danny Alves. Different type of football for the England players to that which they encounter in the Premier League week in, week out. They've got Premier League qualities. Roy Hodgson's men. So Gerrard's ball chased by Cleverly, but running out of room. Roy Hodgson's showing a lot of faith in uh, Tom Cleverly. I'm sure Scolari's still well in touch with what's happening in the English game. Big ask for him to go back, only probably dent the reputation, I suppose, obviously, if he is to win it. They didn't win it in 1950 in Brazil. It was the first World Cup that England participated in and had the humiliation of losing to the USA, as it was then. Well, there's no flag here. Maybe there should have been. But, uh, Luis Fabiano, not particularly subtle in his approach. Last time the two countries met in Doha, he missed a penalty. Oscar blocked. Given a penalty by Jack Wilshire with an arm. Pedro Proenza points to the penalty spot, and England have conceded a penalty. He spreads his arm, the officials, suggesting that the uh, England midfield man did the same. Well, first talking of a penalty, is Luis Fabiano going to take this one? Yeah, it looks as though Ronaldinho picked up the ball to start with. Yeah. Neymar's coming across. I think they're going to have a lot of discussion about it, but Ronaldinho's the man. But first of all, you were quite right. It looked as though it was offside, Fabiano, when the first header was played through to him. And he didn't do particularly well. Well, here we are in the 19th minute. A reinstated Ronaldinho for Brazil. And Joe Hart saves, and Ronaldinho can't force it in. And nor can the follow up from Neymar. Well, Respect all round for the England goalkeeper from his teammates. It's the second save that's better. This one, it's not a great penalty. He chooses the right way. But watch this second save. Ronaldinho slides in, and he's got strong enough right hand to keep it out. And England get round the next one. Cleverly makes the challenge on Neymar. Here he goes again. He thought that Ronaldinho would slide it in. He thought Neymar would get there. Cleverly just about did enough after good work from Joe Hart. Well, there's no question, as the ball breaks off Joe Hart, the odds favoured Ronaldinho. But Hart had other ideas, and it stays at nil-nil. Here's David Luiz.
Dante. So, in consecutive meetings with England, Doha in 2009 and uh, here at Wembley in 2013, Brazil have had penalties, but not scored from either of them. Luis Fabiano put his wide in the Middle East. Would have been a good start for Scolari. Ronaldinho, the man he's recalled, let him down from the spot. at the moment they look the better side England struggling to get their passing going in the midfield areas the defenders aren't seeing the threat of the runs that right to Neymar and Fabiano are making at the moment they haven't really got a control of the game this time there is an offside against Ronaldinho In the corner, he doesn't hit it with enough power either. He didn't slide in with enough speed. So a let off for England. Rooney has had some problems with uh, penalties himself recently. Ronaldinho claiming a free kick, not getting one. Wilshire. Another advantage played as uh, cleverly was fouled by England. Plough on with Glenn Johnson. Gerrard. Rooney. Wilshire for Welbeck. Well, it was a decent chance. England's play was good. Good Rooney coming that little bit deeper. Wilshire combined well here, and he times his pass to perfection. Jack Wilshire and really well back. I thought he was going to go with his left foot. Decides to play it with the outside of his right. Instead of getting it on the outside of the right, he actually gets it with his toe in the end. But that was better from England. Good combination play around the box. Roy Hodgson, you saw there, was presented with a, a Brazil shirt with his name on it, number 11. Carlos Alberto Pereira. But, uh, an hour or so before kickoff, very touched by the gesture. He did say it would have been taking the Mickey uh, if he'd been given number 10 for his playing career. It's not quite as distinguished as his coaching career. in his 99 <laughs> previous internationals. Of course, his most recent attempt at goal, at least I can remember, was in the, uh, the penalty shootout in the Euro quarterfinals. I think they lost that shootout to Italy and he failed. He started running with the ball, it all closed down for him. And I think he ran out of ideas, he couldn't see a pass, so I'll have a shot anyway. You can see why he hasn't scored too many goals. Great technique from him there. No means assured of qualifying directly for the World Cup from their group. Big game uh, in Montenegro coming up next month. It's very important for Roy Hodgson to take something for the future from this uh, performance tonight, as well as try to become the third manager, only the third England manager ever to be in charge of a winning team against Brazil. It's quite in harmony with Adriano then. Adriano was trying to run in behind Theo Walcott. Adriano just put his head down as he made the run. That's why he had the mess up. Cleverly. Gerard. To steal it, but they played around him. England did well. Got Welbeck coming from the left hand side again. 
give it back to uh, Wilshire this time. Cleverly. She wasn't quite expecting it, but he's still got a corner out of it. That's good play in midfield to start with. Rooney and Gerrard play a little one-two. They would Wilshire to have a bit of space on them, a bit of time on the ball. Just try to stay on side, Wilshire, so didn't make the run initially. here for England to take the lead having uh, survived the penalty scare at the other end it's the Joe Hart's agility with a double save work by Johnson here's Walcott Johnson again and Johnson I've seen him come in field in club matches and hit it with his left foot thought there was a nick on it there should be a corner referee is pointed for a goal kick well he intercepted the ball to start with Cesar threw it out to Ronald Dinner, wasn't alive and alert. There's a little one two. He's got great technique with both feet, Glenn Johnson. It's a good spell, this for England, and Jack Wilshire is at the heart of it. A good save by Julio Cesar, but Rooney follows up, and England have the lead in the 26th minute. Although the goal was gaping, still needed a composed touch. Precision with a bit of pace, but Wilshire at the core of the move. Julio Cesar might have thought he'd done enough saving from Walcott, but Wayne Rooney was there to pick up the pieces. England won, Brazil nil. Well, this was all about Jack Wilshire. There he plays a little one-two. Now he's got a bit of time on the ball. Brilliant from Wilshire. Plays inside the fullback perfectly. Really, Theo Walcott should just lift it over the goalkeeper. There's the one-two. Now there's a driving run. Now there's the vision to play the ball in behind the fullback. Wayne Rooney still had a lot to do there, just following up his initial pass. A good finish. The end of England's best period of the game. His 33rd England goal, and it's a tale so far of the two number 10s. Rooney has scored, Ronaldinho fluffed his lines with his penalty. As I said earlier, in the last eight meetings, no England wins, but they led five times. They lead again, and they this time turn it into victory at Wembley. Wilshire, Walcott, might go through himself, he's trying to get it back to Rooney. Just didn't quite flick it far enough to his right. Got a bang in the process. got to grips with uh, the occasion as much as the opposition England playing football of their own of a pleasing nature Stuart Robson but once again who was at the heart of it Jack Wilshire driving forward with the ball avoiding challenges here he goes again then plays the ball out to Theo Walcott who cuts inside and he just doesn't have any quality with the pass there and then he says he's got a whack in the stomach yeah it was quite a deliberate dig in the ribs from uh, David Luiz a little bit winded there a better pass and England would have been 2-0 up there is the elbow in the in the stomach lower chest foul it's a foul absolutely yeah. Harry Lewin of course used to be the Arsenal physio Getting Theo Walcott back up and running again. Spot on, Stuart, when you say England were playing the best spell of the match, and it's one of the truisms of the game, isn't it? When you are on top, you've got to really try and uh, make that count on the scoreline, and England have done that. The hardest thing to do for England teams over the years is when the opposition play at a slow pace and keep possession. Is how do England, when they get the ball, quicken the tempo up? Because they haven't had a lot of the ball, but they've done it well here in the last 10, 15 minutes. Some clever midfield play. Three midfield players have linked up well together. Steven Gerrard, Wilshire, Cleverly, and also Rooney's dropped back at times. 
which has allowed Walcott to make forward runs and Welbeck to make forward runs. Almost playing with a little diamond in midfield at times. Brazil stuck into some sort of retaliation here. Luis Fabiano, his first thought is usually to shoot. A good uh, World Cup in uh, South Africa, although in the end, uh, it's disappointment for the Brazilians beaten in the quarter final in Port Elizabeth by uh, Holland. Much in which Julio Cesar didn't cover himself in glory and the uh, spell on the sidelines since then, really because of the fingers that were pointed at him in that defeat. I said right at the start, Stuart, the task for Scolari is to turn these very good players into a team. And uh, Brazil have been struggling with their recent coaches to actually get that to happen. So often chopped and changed their team around. Well, I'm not sure all these games all around the Europe all well, around the Harlem Harlem Globetrotters of world football, aren't they? It doesn't help them because they pick the different teams every match. To any sort of fluidity. Here's the one two again. Gets away from Ramirez, but then he finds the right pass. That's inch perfect for Theo Walker. I thought he just lifted over the goalkeeper, but Wayne Rooney, there wasn't much of an area to hit, but he certainly hit it. Roy Hodgson had sat back in disappointment that Walcott hadn't scored and then uh, showed his jubilation that Rooney didn't. It was a good angle, that last angle, to show what Rooney had to do to uh, steer it to a goal where the goalkeeper was stranded, but others were trying to block the chance. But what he did, he used the right technique. He didn't try and smash through the back of the ball with his laces. With the inside of his foot with power. Good uh, covering by Welbeck, who's certainly got Danny Alves uh, as part of a job, but the best way to deal with Danny Alves is make him run in the opposite direction, as Welbeck was doing there. Here comes Cleverly. England uh, really in the mood now. Rather untidy challenge by Oscar, which Johnson believes should be punished for the free kick. It's only a throw against Scolari's team. Gerard, a lovely piece of play again. And then Glenn Johnson just trying perhaps to do a little bit too much with the ball rather than just help it across the face of the goal. Easy to say sitting up here. Wilshire, coming up by David Luiz, the uh, most buccaneering of all defenders. Well, what they're saying is that David Luiz unfairly shielded the ball there. He threw an elbow. Just backs in. Does he throw the elbow? Well, he... He's making sure he got his body across, wasn't he? He certainly was. He got the foul. Norbeck was runner up to Gerard in the hole for England's player of 2012. It's a great compliment to Danny Welbeck. Uh, more junior members of the squad, but those five goals that he scored, he could have added a goal in 2013 tonight, prior to England taking the lead. If you've just joined us, the other fact you must know is that Brazil had a penalty at 0-0 and Joe Hart saved it, not once. But also the follow-up from Ronaldinho. Cleverly. This is where Walcott can really express himself and impress. It's this uh, caveat to his uh, CV that he wants to play more through the middle. He's going to get the chance to do that coming from the right-hand side in situations like that. That's where he can impress, but he can also frustrate Leo Walcott in those situations. Yeah, that was a golden opportunity for him, 1v1. Overran the ball. So he doesn't look such a good player. Oscar. Uh, fought really then by Cole. Walcott again. And it is at times a mixed bag from Theo Walcott, but we've seen uh, how dangerous he can be. Um, very involved in the goal. Brazil not finding it easy at Wembley. Neymar, day after his 21st birthday, not too much to celebrate so far. The uh, smart money is on him staying 
in Brazilian football till after the World Cup. And then making his foray into Europe. Famous club, of course, Santos, where great Pelé made his name. They were expected to win the Copa America a couple of years ago. They were expected to win the Olympic title. Did neither of those things. Brazil. And they were they expected themselves to win the World Cup in 2010 and 2006. for Scolari if he starts with a defeat. But they'll probably give him one other game. England trying to make sure they don't lose two in a row. Doesn't happen very often in the last couple of decades. Ben Johnson. Here's Rooney. Well back in there, David Luis gets a head to it out by his club colleague Oscar. Ronaldinho can't keep it going of appealing to the referee from Portugal. He's given them a penalty. They feel that they've been hard done by with some of the England challenges. Flag like is up on the far side that the ball went out. They do gamble when they haven't got the ball, Brazil. When England are attacking and they get in towards the top third of the field, Look down the other end, and Brazil have got three players that aren't working at all to, to get back and get any sort of shape. They're just hoping that Brazil win it back and then play them in. They can counter-attack. It's a risky game to play. Slightly risky kick from Hart. It's allowed Oscar to get the drop on Ashley Cole. Three in the middle. Oh, and what a wonderful chance to equalise. And for Neymar, it isn't quite happening so far. Poor kick from Hart. Great ball from Oscar. Oscar beats Ashley Cole a little bit too easily again here. And he whips the ball brilliantly along that six-yard box. He does everything right. Neymar in coming round the back. Timing his run to perfection. And he's got to get over the ball. Talking about timing runs. Well, run was OK from Danny Alves. The pass wasn't so good. saying in sport you should never come back. But, uh, I wonder if Scolari was uh, tempted by it. Godlike status if you uh, win one World Cup. If you get two, I don't know what comes after that, especially if it's the one on home soil. And of course they will be favourites, but with the favouritism comes that huge, huge weight of expectation. Since the last World Cup, they've been beaten three times by Argentina. Which tells you that even in their own continent, they are not necessarily the masters. As Stuart pointed out, they win that Copa America, beaten by Paraguay in the quarterfinals on penalties. Missed all their penalties. They played really poorly in that tournament in Argentina. They played Paraguay early on, didn't play well, didn't win the game. A too slow a tempo. Their midfield was for Ramirez and Lucas in that tournament. Two players we know very well here. Yes, Lucas of Liverpool is not in Brazil's squad. Lucas played in the Olympics is. Oscar. Given away by Cahill. Ramirez. Adriano. Oscar. Missing up against uh, Ashley Cole again. And he's crossing again. Hooked over by Palinho. More applause for Joe Hart. Did 
well to get that out the danger area there. Lovely bit of skill at the near post. Moscow's giving Ashley Cole a real problem. Nino making a, a run through the middle, it comes out towards Oscar. Gerard intervenes. Wilshere is playing it to where, at the very least, he's giving England a bit of time to regroup. Welbeck giving uh, Ashley Cole a bit of much needed help down uh, by this near touch line. Across from Danny Alves. Out comes Hart. Been a bit ponderous, hasn't he? Fabiano at times. He's another one that uh, most Brazilian supporters thought his uh, international days had gone. Hasn't quite got the panache of Ronaldinho for a recall. He's playing out on the left hand side, and now Neymar Oscar's come to this right hand side. They've basically got four fluid attackers, haven't they? And uh, behind them, Ramirez and Paulinho sitting to try and help break up the play. Oscar will try and defend at times, but Neymar, Ronaldinho and Fabiano haven't tried to defend at all. They'll press the ball, but when it gets played past them, they just don't recover. So it does leave them a little bit outnumbered when Rooney comes short into midfield. Here's Oscar's club colleague, of course, Ashley Cole. He was uh, signed for another year. With Chelsea, just saying he wanted two, and uh, here goes Wilshire. Rooney to crack it. And he hits it. And they usually stay hit. As he, gets it, he comes deep. Wayne Rooney. Wilshire makes the forward run. Welbeck had made the forward run. It sets up the play. Wilshire goes past the first change and the second. Once again, Rooney decision this time to hit it with his laces. Wilshire. His first start, remember this is, since June 2011. He came on as a substitute after being 17 months out of the international scene in Sweden. The game rather fell away from England thanks to Ibrahimovic. But Wilshire has put together a real uh, Impressive sequence of games for Arsenal and uh, England coaching staff are now benefiting from that tonight. Brazil uh, trailing in his wake from time to time. Liam Brady said who had him as a youngster, obviously through the Arsenal Academy. He said he could be as talented as Glenn Hoddle and Paul Gascon and I'd go along with that. England's throw, holding a lead with a couple of minutes to go to half time. Cahill. It's a big pitch here, but not quite as big as that. And the England fans in good voice. the first 20 minutes England have played well it's really been the key has been those three midfield players cleverly Gerard Wilshire but also the movement of Wayne Rooney coming short just to overload that area leave Alineo and Ramirez up against it and they've won the ball back again here England well back a chance once more for Walcott to show his impressive pace carried away by Julio Cesar with the goal, there wasn't quite an England player in the right place to follow up. They're still on the attack here. That's where you do try your trickery, and Danny Welbeck, unlucky that it didn't come off. Slow to start England here. Fortunate that Ronaldinho, of all people, wasted a penalty. But almost heartened by that, England have really got to grips with the challenge. And again, it's Theo Walcott on the counter, but Wayne Rooney's lost it in a bad position. Still have got four forward, Ronaldinho. So I think the days of Luis Fabiano chasing down passes like that may well be behind him. The wrong decision from Ronaldinho. For once Wayne Rooney coming short. And his pass intercepted. 
did leave a four on four situation. Smalling. Second goal was successful. Headed by Ramirez. Seized upon by Gerard. One added minute before half time. Cleverly. England trying to use these extra seconds to their advantage. Johnson. We attacked a bit more than Danny Alves from uh, the same position, right backs. Well, the difference is Neymar isn't recovering and not stopping Johnson <laughs> getting forward, whereas Welbeck's yes. trying to stop the runs yeah. of Danny Alves. As he shows here, chasing across. Perfect example. Four times, and he's had to lay it off each time. The passage of play alone. Dante. Well, a good half for England. England supporters show their appreciation. Wayne Rooney giving them the lead, but only after Joe Hart had made a superb double save from uh, Ronaldinho's penalty and the follow up from a player. Reunited with the national team tonight as Scolari has returned. But the uh, memories of 2002 put aside for the time being here because at half time at Wembley, England hold the upper hand. The Rooney goal after 26 minutes, England won Brazil nil. Time changes Frank Lampard and Leighton Baines replacing Tom Cleverley and Ashley Cole, respectively. And it's going to be a, a couple of alterations for Brazil as well. Two substitutions on half time for England coming off number 11, Tom Cleverley. Pack three substitutions for Brazil. Striker Fred plays back in Brazil these days. Fluminense had a spell uh, most notably with uh, Lyon in France. He's number 19. Aroca of Santos, the midfield player, is the number 16. Fred, the first to be flagged on. And Lucas, who uh, was in the Olympic final as well, along with the likes of Neymar and Oscar on this ground. Here he is now of Paris Saint Germain, a growing force in uh, European club football. Some uh, action taken by Scolari at half time. It's 
Always hard, Stuart Robson, to know whether the coaches have done this by pre-arrangement or from what they've actually seen from the first half. I'd imagine a bit of both. Wayne Rooney involved in the kickoff, the score of the game's only goal so far. England have the opportunity to gain a rare victory over Brazil. They are straight swaps for England. Clayton Baines will go in at left back. And Lampard will go exactly the position that Cleverly was playing on the right hand side of that little triangle. There is Leighton Baines. Such a great season for Everton so far. Here's Gerard. It's given back to him by Aroca. And Gerard, the shot is on, and Julio Cesar spilt it. And uh, on the follow up, Jack Wilshire couldn't quite grab himself an England goal. Once again, Wilshire makes the forward run. Rooney goes that little bit deeper. The ball bounces just in front of Cesar. Actually, I think David Luiz just about does enough here. It's not a great save. He pushes it back into a dangerous area. Had it been on his left foot, I think Jack Wilshire would have got his goal. Johnson. Now by Paulinho of Corinthians. Good to box to box player in uh, attracting uh, European scouts, but not having made the move from Brazilian domestic football as yet. Right, Baines can't get that, but. Has been uh, really impressive, not just this season, but for a couple of years now. A genuine challenger to Ashley Cole. He has played most of the England games this season. Five of the last six. It's interesting to see whether he can actually build up a relationship with Danny Welbeck, because he does so with the players that play wide for Everton, whether it's been Pienaar, Nerales has played out there on a couple of occasions and their movement's excellent to allow him to come forward. Johnson. Lampard, of course, in this strange situation where he's been told by his club that he will not be retained at the end of the season and yet keeps getting picked for the team and scoring goals and actually threatening the all-time club scoring record. Oh, it's a mistake by Cahill. And uh, absolutely fantastic finish from Fred, who's only been on a couple of minutes, but England have shot themselves in the foot here. Well, first of all, it was Johnson. Brazil were pressing high up the field. Johnson played a little square ball. That seemed OK. Cahill then tried to come out with it. So often, centre halves, he overruns it, then tries to play it with the outside of his boot out to Baines, whereas the pass was really back to the centre-half, Smalling. See if he gets his right foot round it now and just plays it back to Smalling, it'll be OK, but he tries to play through the challenge. And Fred does really well. Smalling had to hang off of him for a little while because there was the other runner. But it's a good finish. Joe Hart, absolutely no problem, but the centre-half overran the ball and then didn't make the right decision. Well, a good substitution from uh, Scolari. Fred, another one of the players he's recalled, this sort of retro Brazilian squad. Was, uh, in the World Cup of 2006, you might recall, got a couple of goals in the tournament. And Germany and England, almost uh, in chaos again here. And they could still be in it. Fred again! Oh, and it's clipped the top of the frame of the goal. He could have had two in a minute. And really, they would have been handed to him on a plate by England. Suddenly, Brazil are pressing the ball there, playing with more urgency. Watch here when it goes back to Smallin. Smallin's a poor pass with his left boot. Joe Hart doesn't clear it particularly well. Cahill tries to get out of the way. Well, they're all over the place at the moment, England. Well, the firepower has arrived for Brazil in the shape of Fred. They've got a more settled shape by the looks of it now, Brazil. What they're doing, they've 
got Neymar out on the left hand side. I think he's going to stay out here. Fred through the middle. Oscar's going to play behind him. And on the right hand side, it will be Lucas. So it's a more structured formation. They needed that because when they didn't have the ball, England were able to attack very easily in that first but, half. And to be fair, uh, Ronaldinho and Luis Fabiano did not contribute a great deal to that first 45 minutes. So, uh, a bit of sentiment giving away to a, a bit of structure. And uh, trying to press forward here and hit back. Restore their advantage. Smack tie into the Wembley night by Paulinho. Made by Lampard, but uh, Julio says that uh, even in his unorthodox style can come and catch that safely. Well, the equaliser has really set up the second half. There have been a lot of 1 1 draws between the two countries. But I don't think this is necessarily going to finish that way. There's appetite in both teams for victory. As I say, it's a standalone fixture as a friendly international, if you want to call it that, a showpiece. Curtain raiser for this 150th anniversary season for the Football Association, but what happens in the months ahead is vital for both camps. That's why everybody was surprised that Ronaldinho and Fabiano started for Brazil because it's such an important time for them to better team, get a good understanding, know exactly what the manager wants. Certainly be pleased with the way they've started the second half, They're pressing of the ball. So Oscar again going to try and press the centre halves for England. Can't get out. Well, every group needs uh, a brushstroke or two of experience, but Brazil, of course, are great providers of uh, young talent. And if they can use the uh, 16 months or so to bring one or two on and pick the right experienced hands to steady the ship and of course they will be the force to be reckoned with in their own country they need to just clear their heads just not so much conceding the equalizer but the nature of it a slovenly goal to ship the home side tonight the pressing again from Brazil. What a change in their attitude at the start of this second half. Racing to go and close it down, then went to the centre half, then ran back into midfield to stop Lampard getting good possession on the ball. Excellent from the number eight. He's got uh, the Roca alongside him now, not Ramirez. Welbeck. Smalling having to hurry. Yeah, probably the uh, aim awry. It's interesting how these two centre halves will cope now. Both made a mistake. One cost England a goal, Cahill, and then Smalling with his back pass, which was hit too hard and slightly off the ground. Gave Hart a real problem. Seems to be more and more part of the makeup of international footballers and the, the ability or lack of it to deal with the spotlight, the glare of playing for your country. The likes of Jack Wilshire, it doesn't seem to uh, trouble at all. He wants to grab the game by the scruff of the neck again. Here he goes, leaving Paulinho, stopped by Dante. And Aroka gets it to Oscar, on to Neymar, who's just onside. This is more like Brazil with the swagger. Oscar stopped by Cahill, he'll feel better after that. Very nearly, Oscar put it in between Cahill's legs. And Cahill would have brought him down. I think he only just got a touch on the ball there. Good break from Brazil. They won it back off Jack Wilshere in their defending third. Very good movement by Rooney to be able to receive the pass as England look to break themselves. And uh, Leighton Baines uh, makes a threatening surge and a bit of a slip by Roca. How many times have we seen that this season? 
The defenders get themselves a little bit square, and Baines chops the ball between the two and starts running into the box. Yeah, that low centre of gravity of his and real attacking ambition. Another Steven Gerrard corner for England. Almost ten minutes gone in the second half. Oh. Well, England very nearly having a villain turning hero there in the shape of Gary Cahill. Well, if he got a good header, he should score here. He's been tugged by it, but well, he should score, really. David Louise tugging at the shirt, let him go. It's really poor defended, a decent save. Two, Cesar. Two Chelsea players. Julio Cesar comes with a good punch. It's Wilshire trying to get it wide, and he's done that. Gerard trying to whip it in first time. Just watch David Luiz at the corners. He never watches the ball, he's watching the player and grabbing hold of his shirt. You can't defend properly if you're never looking at the ball. Oscar. That's well found. Looks for Neymar's run. Well played, Glenn Johnson. So often we see fullbacks try and hold a line, never go behind their centre halves. He had to go behind his centre halves because Neymar made a great run, a diagonal run for the pass of Oscar. Johnson booms it across to uh, Baines. Now Gerard. Smalling. And Cahill. Johnson. Would have, uh, Considered build up by England here. Walcott coming in from the uh, right side to get involved, but primarily he's been used as a, a wide attacker. Be well back who has played for England as a central striker. More in tune with the, the movement into the middle, particularly when Rooney comes short, which he's done pretty effectively. Lampard. I wonder if that's a, what the manager, Roy Hodgson, has been asking Welbeck to do to come in field, because that means Baines can play even higher up on that left hand side, almost like a wing back. And here's the right back, Johnson. Neymar. <laughs> Throw goes England's way. Lampard. Here's Wilshire. Been a foul there again. The referee pleased to play the advantage. Walcott cuts it to uh, Adriano and then takes him on here and leaves him. Oh, and it nearly fell for Lampard. Rooney to tee up Gerard. His sort of range, not quite. His best kind of shot. Well, that's what you hope to see from Theo Walcott. So often I see him running to defenders when he takes them in 1v1 situations. He's much better when the ball's played in behind, but there he does well. Attacks the inside of Adriano, goes down the outside. From that moment on, Brazil were in trouble. Steven Gerrard just slicing across it here. With the credit also Paulino for getting out quickly. Gerard, of course, scored from a similar sort of distance, maybe even further out. And uh, Liverpool's league game on Sunday past the England goalkeeper tonight, Joe Hart. Liverpool away to Manchester City. Cahill. Smalling. To Baines. Gerard, always thinking forward. Walcott. A bit more purpose to England's passing in this passage of play. Lampard, who hopes he'll be the next centurion in terms of caps. Walcott fancies himself against Adriano. He keeps doing that. One surely going to drop England's way. Well, this one does. And it's a goal for Frank Lampard. Fred at one end, Frank at the other. And once again, Theo Walcott. 
Adrian's showing he's improving as a player. He runs at the inside of Adriano, and once Adriano has to move to cut that line off, he can then go to the byline. Watch again, takes the inside, then takes the outside. And you're always going to struggle defending these situations. But England win the ball back, Rooney wins it back, and what a finish from Frank Lampard, because he hasn't got too much time here. He's on the volley. So he just readjusts his position. Wayne Rooney gets back to take the ball, and he almost passes it into the net, doesn't he? Stays by Aroka. Yeah, it was a poor pass for him back to his centre-half. Well, he's having uh, a bit like Rooney, England's other goal scorer. A great run for his club in terms of finding the net, which for Lampard continues to be even more remarkable because he is a midfield player. He's now scored 27 times for England. It's his 94th appearance now. That should book him a few more caps and on his way to 100. Well, this is awareness when the ball comes back to him. But no time to think. Technique is superb, as it always is with Lampard. But here's uh, Adriano, who's been uh, struggling against Walcott and uh, had a chance to pay him back then. But, uh, nowhere near the goal. As you probably noticed, uh, James Milner's come on for Danny Welbeck during those uh, England goal celebrations. And this is uh, Gian, who was a, a late call-up into the squad, a midfield player from uh, Fluminense in Brazil. Only his second cap. As for Milner, he ranks up number 35. Played against Brazil in that uh, previous meeting in uh, Doha in 2009. Well, he will play out on that left-hand side again. Straight swap from Roy Hodgson. Rooney. Well, the rarity of England scoring twice against Brazil. Walcott. He's having a purple patch at the moment. And he ends up on a patch <laughs> behind the byline. Doesn't get uh, any sympathy from the referee. He's certainly playing with more confidence now, Theo Walcott. So often runs into defenders, makes the wrong decision. Certainly not now. Brazil equalised for a second time. Gian. Now Neymar. Adriano. Gian. Let's see what he had in mind, but he was nowhere near executing it. A bit nervous from the substitute. Two balls he tried to play reverse into one into Fred, which he got all wrong, and that one he tried to play into the forward run. Well, the only goal that Brazil had managed was uh, gift wrapped by England. We want to uh, see his side defend without the uh, momentary lapse. For an hour or so that remains. Be a stirring way to start the year if England can knock over Brazil here. Neymar. And that's Gian. Nervous again? I think he was. His first touch wasn't quite right. He had a lot of time and space to start with. It's a good run from Neymar over the top. Johnson didn't see it until it was a bit late. There's the first touch, was a bit heavy. And then Steven Gerrard comes out, there's a wild lash at it, hits it on the outside of his boot. So got himself into the game right at the mm. start of his appearance. And so has he. A bit more effect. Mm. They're actually up against each other. Yeah, second cap against the uh, 94th. It's a goal fit in there. Adriano.
Neymar. Roca. Coming up to the 20 minute mark in the second half. Game has continued in an engrossing way. say the second half has been played with a bit more intensity than the first, particularly from Brazil, and they're closing the ball down. He's been a bit agitated on the side now. Big Phil, a bit of a big flap at the moment. After all those successes in tournaments against England. Second to... Uh, three with uh, Portugal. Aroca. Danny Alves. Oh, and Joe Hunt. Had scope for a fumble there, but he wouldn't have wanted to let it slip initially from his grasp, which it did. Sort of rather switched off. If anyone had chased in then, there might have been a surprise opportunity for them. Gerard cut out by Adriano. Now David Luiz. Oscar took up a good position behind the midfield. The pocket of space before the back line, Neymar. Well, he works really hard for his pace, Neymar. Not quite full at Wembley, but pretty much that way. Majority in the big audience, despite that Neymar effort, uh, enjoying what they're seeing from England. It's been a good game all round, hasn't it? But I was just talking about Neymar working for his space. He ran Johnson in field. He couldn't get the ball, so he backed off again. That didn't come, so he ran Johnson again. Off the ball, Neymar's working really hard. Here's David Luiz. Oscar trying to capitalise here. Quite had the touch to go with his uh, persistence. For Chelsea, they feel he'll end up being one of the uh, two holding midfield players, but played most of his football in his first season in England in a more attacking role. Almost coming from a wider position, hasn't he? Adriano. Luis Felipe getting on Felipe Luis. The uh, left back from uh, Atletico Madrid. Neymar. You have to have the audacity to try it. Once again, Luke makes the run from outside to him. Johnson goes with him. There's a little one too. Fred has actually worked better with him than Fabiano did in the first half. That wasn't too difficult. Ibrahimovic gets goals like that against England. <laughs> Can't happen too many times, can it? Here is the strike. This Frank happens plenty of times for Frank Lampard. And it's just wonderful awareness of where the goalkeeper was, where the goal was, assessing the situation. Here's Baines. And it took everyone out. Lukata made a good run towards the near post, but I don't know whether he just checked away from him substitution coming up it will be a change at left back I would have thought and probably Adriano will be uh, glad to see the back of Theo Walcott and hand over the responsibilities to a replacement who was at the start of the season in that Atletico Madrid team that put Chelsea to the sword in the uh, Super Cup in Monaco Cahill, feeling a lot better now that England have regained the lead. Anyone 
was it in doubt who had made the mistake. He made sure everybody knew, didn't he? Put hands over his face. Walcott. He's got to the ever willing Rooney for company. It's just too high for Milner. Walcott again running with the ball this time. Starts to run straight at defenders, then it's easy for them just to hold him up. Wayne Rooney just again finds space. They work so well together. Wilshire and Rooney, Walcott and Rooney. Fred trying to uh, get Lucas away that time. between the Baines and Milner. Oscar is a little more dangerous than most for Brazil. Nice dummy by Neymar, Oscar, Gian. Sent uh, tumbling by Rooney. Neymar. Very good ball. Haven't been enough of those, probably Brazil will feel. Dani Alves right on the front foot that time. Well, he's the player now, isn't he? Neymar that's just trying to pull the strings alongside Oscar for Brazil. Good forward run again from Dani Alves. Milner tracked him back. Brazilians all coming in from the edge of the penalty area. Gerard heads away. Collected by Dani Alves. In the middle, but uh, Gerard once more. Not to uh, be which bothered and bewildered by Neymar's attempt at trickery, but you're absolutely right, Stuart. He's really having a go now, Neymar, isn't he? To try and be the, the player who can uh, salvage a result here at Wembley. But uh, England set up to break when they can. It's more than that, it's not as though they're under siege at the Cho Hart end of the pitch. Well, when England beat Spain, it was very much a, oh. a game where England had very little of the ball and they counter-attacked when they could. It's lovely play here between uh, Milner and Rooney. It's not quite carve out another chance, but a knowing look between the two of them. That's been a feature of England's play at times. Most of their best moves have involved a little one-two somewhere in midfield. Gerrard. To lift it forward for Lampard. <laughs> Old conundrum, Gerrard and Lampard together. And they've got Wilshire to work with here. It's just that maybe ingredient that's been missing. Hey, hey! The other times they've been paired. Fouled by Walcott. Just saying it again. There was the one two. Walcott played it in, continued his run. All reversed back into his space. Through one twos. England leading two one. The debutant. Bayern Munich now. He plays for Dante. Neymar trying to assert some authority for Brazil, but compared to some Brazilian sides of uh, the vintage years, they're rather powder puff in their attacking. And they haven't been, been able to win the sort of set pieces that uh, Brazil are famous for, the phenomenal free kicks from uh, around the edge of the penalty area. Offside. Amazingly, only Walcott's second start in some 20 months for England. And then the other one, he was uh, taken off very early, you might recall, in San Marino, and he got a clattering. Oscar. Oh, 
always veering wide. That was the runners down the side of him that just made England's back players drop off. Here's the ball from Fred. Look at the players, they all start dropping off for the run of Neymar. He doesn't quite get the bend on it. Theo Walcott. Getting, uh, congratulations over uh, Gary Neville down there. Martin Roy Hodgson's coaching staff. Gary Lewin, the physio, just checking him out. Aaron Lennon of Tottenham is on. He had uh, a couple of full seasons without playing for England after he participated in the World Cup in South Africa. He's uh, seen a bit more national service in this campaign. There's another player that's been in and out at times, hasn't he, over the last two or three years, but playing some of his best football for Tottenham at the moment. Felipe Luis. Another breakdown from Brazil. Slipped by Neymar. Not seen too much of Lucas out on the right-hand side. PSG player. Very talented, but hasn't got on the ball enough for Brazil. So it's been coming down this side with Neymar. Roca, touch there from Lucas. Danny Alves getting it forward. It'll uh, be picked up here by Fred. Get much power into that effort. Certainly uh, as strong as his excellent scoring shot. This is with his other foot. Lampard going to get Lennon away here. Pante coming across. Lennon, uh, nicknamed the road runner. Ran out of road then. She defended it well in the end. Showed a good bit of pace to get there. Then didn't just kick the ball out. Shielded the ball out of play. Another from the Atletico Madrid stable, Miranda. The central defender. Gerard who Often doesn't go the distance with England, determined, I think, to do so tonight. Rooney, likewise, pillars of uh, the performance here. Wilshire, too. Remember, he hasn't started a game for his country for 20 months. So he might start and finish it now. Playmaker from Lampard. From Neymar. I think Roy Hodgson knows how. What a good effect it will have on the supporters and the press if England get a good win here. That's always keeping the players on. Lampard with the challenge. David Luiz passing the armband to goalkeeper Julio Cesar. Let's see. Gives his position to Miranda. Only his seventh cap. Of 28. Up from uh, Danny Alves, who hardly call the defender. It's a pretty inexperienced back line. Oh, Scolari, but it's attack that he needs now. So far, not a happy return. So managing his national team. Neymar looking for the foul up on his feet. It's good to see. Being uh, cynical about that, he might well have been clipped by Wilshire. Two 21 year olds going head to head. Here's Neymar. Uh, haven't really been troubled by a final ball. Once again, they were looking for the one two. Lucas just trying to increase the tempo, playing infield, and making the darting run. But on that occasion, England saw the threat and the danger. Gia, Neymar. That's offside, Oscar. I just think Neymar missed the opportunity to play Oscar in when he was running with the ball. Oscar made a lovely little diagonal run. The ball had been played early. Oscar would have been in, but he played it infield. He wasn't offside, actually. No, no it was level, wasn't it? 
he wants to get level. To a few places since he managed at Chelsea. Yeah, Uzbekistan for one. He was reported the highly paid coach ever. I should imagine he's getting a few bucks for doing this job. Dante, ten minutes to go, ten minutes away from uh, what is uh, not a victory to get you points, but certainly to get you prestige. Neymar and Oscar, I must say, have creditably risen to the challenge in terms of their desire to get into the game and on the ball, but they can't provide a key to the door as yet. Aroka. I think Wilshire was the best player on the pitch in the first half. Neymar's been the best player on the pitch in the second. Two young players that have got outstanding futures. But the goals have come from seasoned campaigners, all three of them. Aroka. Luis, his touch, and he goes straight to Lampard for England. Scorer of uh, the moment, the match winning goal. Gerard. A challenge bought by Milner, really. He knew if he got in front, the chances were that uh, Danny Alves would bump him in the back, and the referee would blow, and England would. Move on with the control possession again. Wilshire. Johnson. Looking for Lennon. It's the stick or twist situation now, isn't it, for England? Whether to, to make sure they get across the finishing line. It's been so difficult for them against Brazil. Or to whether to try and make absolutely sure of that by getting another goal. Good movement from Aaron Lennon, came short, the ball didn't go, and then tried to spin in behind Felipe Luiz. Held up by Fred. Gian. Right by Oscar. Dante. Aroca. Lucas and Danny Alves to come up with something down that uh, far side and uh, in the end he scraped it wide with the left foot that connected so well for the goal they might not get a better chance than that Brazil to level it up uh, it was talked about Lucas here he does do well plays a little one two here gets on the third man and they drive towards the box England have to drop off just Slips over as he gets control of the ball, Fred, but that was good movement from the right-sided player. Scolari, I think, is just telling Neymar to play through the middle with Fred. Might just suit England to some extent. It'll probably stop him getting on the ball in the deeper positions where he has been threatening. But they need a goal one way or the other. Brazil. Fourth defeat against England. The record in England hasn't been particularly great. Played ten, one, two, drawn six, lost two. Rooney, Milner, taking uh, Dante out of the middle and taking the ball out of play. Aroka. Nothing like the, uh, the know-how of the man he's replaced, Ramirez. Only his eighth cap, another of the uh, Santos squad. Oscar. 
Messi and Neymar right up as you spotted Stuart, right up alongside uh, Fred. Had the ball been better then on the diagonal, he was in. I think that, as you said, may help England. Now it's easier to pick him up. Send him off and pick the time when to get tight to him, when to drop off of him. There's Carlos Alberto Pereira. Advisor to the Brazilian Federation. Reminding me, an old friend of mine, reminding me before the, the game that there is no hiding place when you're in charge of Brazil. And this will be uh, not going down well in that country. England have a corner, they can wrap it up. There's some good contact if the ball comes in here. Which it doesn't. Spins away to Wilshire. who yeah, perhaps understandably has been less of an influence in the second half. A splendid first 45 minutes, and he's helped uh, England build a different kind of platform in midfield for much of the second period. What have you made of it, Stuart? It's four minutes or so to go. I think it's been a good performance from England. First 20 minutes, Brazil looked the stronger side. They passed it with. A little bit of penetration, they created one or two chances, but once England started winning the ball back that little bit higher up field and they played little one-twos around the Brazil's midfield, then they got that four men, four men in midfield with Wayne Rooney coming that little bit deeper. I think it's been a decent performance for him. And they've defended quite well in the second half. Been quite so adventurous going forward. They've got a they were fluid in the first half, they got a more solid shake with Rooney playing right through the middle. I think Roy Hodgson will be very pleased with the way the players have carried out some of his instructions. A mistake by Dante, it wasn't the best ball to him in the first place. Johnson, quickly on the scene. Wilshire. Lampard. Baines roaring up on the outside, uses the decoy in the end, and it's a poor ball from Milner. A bit of room for Oscar. Shovels it on to Neymar in this more forward position. Cahill roaring across, Neymar gets past him. But, uh, Smalling made sure that no one got it across in front of him, Fred in particular. Oscar, can uh, Brazil fashion another late equaliser here as they did in their only previous visit to this ground since it was rebuilt? It was Diego then? He's had a couple of sniffs at it, hasn't he? In the last well, five minutes, we could have just reined that one in. Well, he used his body very well then, he just got across the front of Smalling, tried to shield it and then turn, but all just got away from him. it would be interesting to see how many of these Brazilian players will start when they have the World Cup in their home land. There's one or two that will certainly be there, Neymar, Oscar. Some quick decisions, hasn't he? Scolari. Yes, Danny Alves will probably still be around. He's only 29 and he's given him the, uh, the full outing here. He's not a recalled senior player, he's stayed in the side. The ones that he's brought back haven't really covered themselves in glory. I suppose you could say Fred's a bit of an exception to that in that he scored a goal. Had they done well in the Olympics, most of that team, I thought, would have been the starting side. That's what they were trying to build for. Well, some would say they did do well in that they got the silver medal, but, of course, in Brazil, second is uh, nothing. But with the squad they had, they mm. should have been destroying teams, and they mm. didn't do that no. in the Olympics. Struggled through, yeah. playing with great fluency. And the ball by uh, Rooney. The pleasing thing for Roy Hodgson as well is that Theo Walcott's played as well as I've seen him play. Jack Wilshire ran the midfield in the first half. Just been awarded, it's uh, been announced, the sponsor's man of the match here. Jack Wilshire. But it isn't done and dusted yet. This is Lucas. And again, England... Uh, Diving in that time, Fred trying to get a return pass to the uh, still uh, effervescent Danny Alves. 
three added minutes to come to the uh, 20 seconds or so of regulation time. I also think that Roy Hodgson will be pleased with the way Rooney has played as the lone striker. And now he's dropped deep into midfield and allowed others to run beyond him, picking the right time to play as the furthest forward player and went to overload the midfield area. Neymar, Oscar. Well, he might move into a shooting position here, the Chelsea player, which he did. It's been rather that kind of night. Oscar and Neymar, I agree with you, Stuart, have been the ones that you think, well, they'll be, they'll be in the team, certainly in the squad, but probably in the team. But uh, too sure about too many of the others. He's really had a go. Oscar in that midfield, he's changed position several times throughout the game. And he's usually found the right pass. He's been one of the players that's closed the ball down as well. Something you wouldn't associate with him particularly. And I think as the year goes on, Lucas will be a regular in the side out on that right hand side. Cahill, despite that mistake, and Smalling got away with one as well. They've uh, stayed through the 90 minutes, been given a real chance here by Roy Hodgson to uh, show what they're capable of. Glenn Johnson has only affirmed his status as a number one right back. Neymar, uh, Gerard clears, Rooney chases. How often have we said that? Not very often in the 92nd minute of internationals, particularly friendly internationals. Point you made is a really valid one that Roy Hodgson sees the uh, the prestige and the value in a victory over Brazil, and he knows he needs those uh, pillars of his community in place right to the very end. And they're closing in England on a, I think, a merited result here. But certainly one that will have uh, plenty of meaning in the England camp. And we also have to give praise to Stephen Gerrard the performance he's put as the holding midfield player. Not many times he's played for England as the out-and-out holding midfield player. He's done the job really well. We're into the last minute here. Brazil find the second equaliser in the dying embers. To get the ball into the England penalty area. Lucas. And in comes Neymar. A bit of a flick at it by Fred. Hart claims we shouldn't forget the penalty save. The whole psychology of the game might have changed if... Uh, Brazil had taken the lead. At a time when England weren't playing very well, it has to be said, that first 20 minutes. Retrieved by Miranda. Dante, referee's looking at his watch. And it's a ball for Neymar to chase. This is surely the last passage of play of the evening. Neymar, Fred, back for Neymar again. Felipe Luis, the England fans, imploring the referee to blow the final whistle. In by Gian, caught by Hart. England's night at Wembley. Joe Hart has the final touch of the ball. He had a very important double save at nil-nil before Rooney put them in front when Hart kept out Ronaldinho's penalty and the follow-up. Brazil were gifted an equaliser through Fred, one of Scolari's half-time substitutes early in that second half. Frank Lampard just shaking his hand there, came on as well and came up with the winning goal to remind everyone at Chelsea and indeed around the world that there's plenty of life left in his game. And England, after 23 years, have beaten Brazil again. They've done it by two goals to one. Chief Bellingham.